Welcome back to Storage Chasers. Yes, we are at it again. We won uh, two units, but we're about to go ahead out now and uh, pick up one of them. So stay tuned so you can follow the adventure. All right, we are about to head out uh, without the trailer, just the truck to go pick up a, a storage unit. We're gonna be filming uh, most of it there at the facility i believe uh some people like those videos a little bit better i don't know why but it's also a little bit easier for us so we can take the stuff straight from there right to the trash dump if we need to go there instead of having to bring it home it's sorting it and doing that again but we always do a second sort anyway but uh yeah we're gonna head out now and uh, go pick up one of the units so we'll see you when we get there all right, we have made it to our location here at a public storage facility in Sumter, South Carolina. As you can see, we have the old truck. We have uh, our paperwork here. We're going to go over, and it is super bright and super hot out here, so bear with me. All right, this one is a uh, 10 by 15. We paid uh, 100 we bid $100 on this one with all applicable fees, 125 something, then taxes and yeah, out the door. We paid uh, $107 for this. Let's check out some pictures. All right, so that's the pictures. Uh, this one had a, a, what looked like a bed frame in there and a dresser that we saw and a microwave. That's really pretty much what you see in all the pictures here. Uh, we do sell beds pretty good, so uh, we figured if it's in decent shape or we clean it up, we can sell the bed frame with the mattress and box spring that'll help to increase the value and we might be able to get two to three hundred dollars just for that it itself uh, if, if the dresser matches that, that if it's like a set then we can maybe can sell them together but uh yeah that's uh that's where we're at with this one um so here is the picture here be the live let's get a little closer it looks like it's glaring on the camera all right so we've got uh what well, looks like a headboard back here we've got a a boxy springy and a mattress here and uh, we've got some footboard rails some slats stuff here we got a dresser here and oh no we have another dresser over here okay we got a tote number one tote number two tote number three tote number four box 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 bag oh box 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 empty tote partially empty tote suitcase empty tv box and empty tv box so they were staging this one pretty good with all the empty stuff because that one's empty too but these are decent totes we'll just throw some stuff in there so hopefully uh it's not that bad but we're gonna go through this one load it up into the truck and get as much of this out of here today as we can so we will see you when it is emptied out Okay, we have not gotten this one cleaned out all the way because we got ugly weather coming in and it's about to pour on us. We've got uh, everything that was in totes that we could get and boxes and these two TV boxes are empty. We got all this stuff in here. We got some stuff in the back seat. Uh, all that's left in the unit is the mirror, a mirror for something. It doesn't go to either of these two dresses, I don't think. Um, maybe, maybe it'll go to this tall one, I don't know. Uh, we've got a box spring and a mattress uh headboard dresser dresser these are both empty we emptied everything out put them in a tote we've got uh, some other rails here footboard side rails and uh, slats for the one bed the other the other boards here um goes to like a bunk bed thing but this isn't a bunk bed so yeah not sure why they're in here but they're in here <laughs> but we're gonna have to come back uh, tomorrow morning probably and pick those up hopefully it's not raining that too strong and we can get it but we just don't want to get this stuff into the trailer and uh and get it all uh wet because it is definitely it is definitely going to rain on us it's just a wind picked up like crazy so uh yeah we're getting the little uh, the little uh bar lock thing because it's got these sliding locks so you have to get this special little bar that goes here and then you can put on your own lock so my wife went to go get that from the office and uh, then we're going to lock this up and we will head back home and uh, get this stuff secured out of the weather that's the main thing so uh stay tuned for for uh, the next part of this 
all right welcome back to you guys it's been seconds but it's actually the next day still on unit uh, 329 we're back here to pick up all of the uh, larger furniture today before it starts to pour rain on us the headboard footboard side rails pieces parts dresser dresser box spring mattress and it's all got to fit in yes the old storage chasers truck so we're gonna get this all loaded and get this this unit uh, cleaned out for the day Whew. so we will see you when it's all emptied out all right just wanted to jump in and let you know we uh we put the bed together so that we could put pictures up on uh, facebook marketplace we also took pictures of both dressers and took measurements and we posted those on marketplace so hopefully uh, there's a possibility that we'll get message even on our way home that says hey We're interested in in that or that or that so that's always a plus we already swept out the unit And then we put everything back in here because it started to <laughs> start to rain on us a little bit So yeah, we put everything in here set it up and uh, now we're gonna finish loading up uh, The stuff in the trailer putting down a tarp right now and uh, Yeah, we'll have this emptied in no time All right unit uh... 0329 cleaned out wall to wall to wall two door better than when we got here way better we got to go return the uh the little clippy thing there but we've got this is the second load for this unit we got everything in there so we're gonna take this stuff home and then we have to go pick up another unit somewhere else but next time you'll see this stuff is when we uh, get back to our home base operations and start going through the uh, totes and boxes so stay tuned for that all right we have made it back to our home base of operations we've got a few clouds in the sky but we're going to be going through all the totes and stuff uh, we're calling this the uh, military dude unit this is all the totes and this is why we're calling it the military dude unit because of uh, it's got some green bags in it <laughs> uh, the stuff you've already seen of course is the uh, the full-size bed and the frame so we have all that out here that's already listed on marketplace we have uh, this dresser here. It's missing one uh, pull on one of the drawers. We have this listed on Marketplace. And then we have this one here that is also listed on Marketplace. These are the, the only three big pieces of furniture out of the unit. Uh, we actually have somebody coming right now for uh, to look at this dresser here. And then it'll be out of my way so that I can actually sort through the stuff here. I got it covered with a tarp just in case it does decide to rain, but uh, yeah, Oop, let's see, we got uh, we got some stuff to look through here. Yeah, and, and we're going to be getting to this as soon as the person comes, looks at this, and either takes it or doesn't take it. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going through some totes today. That's always a good thing. All right, we sold the uh, the dresser. Yay! So we've already made money on the unit. Uh, not quite all of our money back i believe we spent either 100 or 110 on this unit sold the dresser for 80 bucks for whoever cares uh we listed that one there for 100 and then the bed for ooh, i think maybe 150 200 bucks for the bed because it has a mattress box ring everything else uh we're gonna go through uh just a couple of boxes and maybe a tote or two and then we'll do the, the military bags and the other stuff here uh in the in a second part of the video series so we can keep them a little bit shorter try to keep them under 30 minutes all right um for those who don't know this is our new dog because our our old dog passed away a few months back our old farm dog so my wife decided to pick this one up at the uh, flea market when we were there selling somebody was uh, selling puppies for uh i don't know i think he wanted like 60 bucks for it and she traded him some uh, vegetables that we grew in the garden and 40 bucks so he's a pain in the butt so we call him judas uh yeah so that's what we got going on with him but we're going to be going through uh some boxes here see what we got oh and uh, he's going to be annoying yeah all right so there's an empty bag um okay this is christmasy stuff probably should have untied all these bags in here before starting to film but i didn't know what do we got so we got uh christmas lights and a santa so we got a santa and uh yeah and some lights so 
Ooh. And then we got some Christmas balls. And boo. All right. Then I see uh, more militaria in this one. So, sorry. It's just the way I want to do the video. We'll see it all. But if you're only interested in the military stuff, go to part two and you'll see all the military stuff, okay? That's just to be fair that we don't have to sit through and watch all the garbage that may be in here. Ooh, these are actually pretty cool. Somebody says that this kind of stuff, these homemade ones sell pretty good. So, uh, ooh, there's some really nice colors. Okay, all right. I ain't mad about those. Those are pretty nice. Right? Little homemade thingies. Embroidered? No, no, uh something else i can't remember now and uh then some uh, boring blankies yeah and uh, more boring blankies and this oh that is not a that's not a blankie that is a that's uh it's a mattress pad mattress topper pad Souf souffle i don't know what it says i can't don't have my glasses on but yeah we got one of them and uh then we got uh, some clothes there's a Pillowcase looks like it's another pillowcasey thingy and a piece of military. So you got a sneak peek of something. So yeah, we'll put that over there. And I will put these blankies back in the box. Back in the box. I don't know if that's any good. Why does it look like the box got wet? Huh, it's weird. Um go through some of these easier ones here. This one here I'm gonna use as a hat box. It's actually pretty good because you still got the wheels on it, but uh, yeah, it's got a bathroom uh, bathroom hooker thingy, hanger upper thingy, whatever. Those are always good, and it'll sell at the flea market. Uh, this little rolling thing. Yeah, yeah, I like these uh, because you can actually, you fold your hats and you you stack your hats in it. It's, uh, the, the one we have for our eBay store doesn't have wheels on it, but I have one the similar size and everything. And it works really well for hats so if we get a whole bunch more hats then we have uh, another rack for it which will even be better yeah yeah all right i'm just going through the tops here this got some stuff in it i believe this is empty it feels like it's empty so i want to kind of find the uh find the zipper that opens it and then uh so yeah that one open it all right so hard to find good help all right so that's just about empty yeah okay so we've got uh nothing there we got a bag we've got this nail clippers and that no money no money no money so a couple of pins some nail clippers and a plasticky thingy yeah so that's it but this is a uh, kind of hard, harder sided one, Samsonite. Boy, I had that wrong. Okay, so it's a four way roller. Yeah. Um, that kind of stuff can sell, but I think we're going to actually keep this one. We have a trip planned, and uh, a four way roller may be very helpful for us on that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll go through this one. It's visible already anyway, so yeah see what's in this bad boy all right we got some more arts and crafty stuff looks like we got a bunch of pins and doesn't look like any high-end stuff you know some name brand pins that i should be worried about I and mean, maybe something like this but i can't read it but yeah i mean pins are good books are good some books are good i'll take that back oh here's a vintage puzzle so if it says vintage on it, that means it's not vintage, but thousand piece puzzle. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? It's in a little bag inside of this, inside of that. Okay, so um, because it's open, I will actually count every piece to make sure that there are a thousand pieces in there before I list it for sale. I know that sounds silly, but I uh, have nothing else to do. So when bad things happen to good people, been there, done that. Okay. Um, more junk military flight aptitude test you know you need it 
probably military yet. We'll see. Empty box. That's always good. Apparently, there's cards and notes in there. Um, yeah. Um, bubble wrap. Love bubbles. Free bubbles. And then there's uh, something in that one. I can look in here, right? It says cards and stuff. No. It's receipts and papers. And it looks like a blow pop. Yep, there's a sucker in there. There's a sucker born every day. So we got that working for us. Ooh, we got some, uh, looks like military awards. Let me take you away from it so I can see. Yeah, it has a name. So um, this was a military thing. We will try to get these back to uh, the person. Yeah, that's important stuff. Awards for them. Uh huh. That's kind of cool. All right. I don't know what that is, but I believe it has something to do with military stuff that he did or didn't do. Or what is that? Oh, there we got a a Sony PlayStation controller thing. It's got to have a little value to it. Here's some earbud box. Who thinks it's in there? Who thinks they're in there? Who thinks they're in there? Uh, nope, just the, uh, the little thingies. The extra cushions, the extra somethings like that. I don't know. An actual Apple one, right? Yeah, AirPod Pros. Hmm. I don't know. I can't close the box. <laughs> I'll do it later. Here's a squishy ball. We always need the stress balls. Yeah. Um, here's a box that's got stuff in it ready to go. All right, that's kind of kind of unique. Uh, here's another thing. It says something on it. Don't care. Oh, uh, blocks of fun. Laws. Got a barcode. Looks like miniature Legos inside there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, it is open, so let me let me open it up. Oh, there you go. So, oh my goodness, those are tiny Legos. Miniaturized Lego thingies. And uh, that's probably why it says have fun on it, because I don't know. It's crazy. This one actually says Legos on it. And uh, it's got a seal on that side and a seal on this side. So it's still sealed. Brand new. So I have uh, one of them. Got another book. Uh, grief one day at a time and a coffee stirrer Put that with my book collection over there. Here's some uh, Some rank insignias. That's good. Oh, yeah, I love this kind of stuff patches and stuff You don't need no stinking patches, but we got those There's a sock Oh, stay with that There's one of these dudes I don't think that's a Funko, is it? I think it's a, like a hero click or some weird thing uh, memorabilia, memoranda, nope, nope, well, that's kind of cool, chillin', mmm, it's got, uh, like the Happy Feet things, little penguins in there, alright, there's a empty box, another tin, some more little notepad thingies with nothing in that one, and, I don't think anything in there, a mask, a heart-shaped dream catcher, some uh, secret paperwork. Yeah, so there's one of those, and then there's uh, one of those, and then there's some of those, and why is this book sticking to it? Yeah, in sexual assault, very important. Really? Why has it got pictures? That doesn't make any sense. Huh, weird. All right, um, a painting, and uh, well, that's got a big thick book. That's got some thick spirals to that thing, doesn't it? Whew. All right. And, uh, oh, it's a date planner thing. All right, we'll go through that. Got one of those thingies. Got a mask. I think that's the same deal I keep kicking around here. Yep. And uh, more paperwork. So, yeah. Boo! Just a bunch of paperwork. 
other than the uh, other than the cool blankets and the and that and some Christmas stuff, which will add to the Christmas stuff. We'll check the blankies and see if they could be washed and uh, resold. Uh, I think the mattress pad cover thing is uh, too stained up to deal with, but uh, we do have the suitcase, so that's going to be very good. And uh, the PlayStation thing, I think those sell decently. So like I said, we're already 80 bucks to the good on a $100 unit. So we only need to make like 20, 30 bucks to uh, break even. And then uh, we make, start making some profit. And we got one, two, three, four, five totes and uh, three bags in a box to go through. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, part number two coming up. Hopefully you enjoyed this one here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, we will. Talk to you later.